Today, I wanna to explain the five voices in five minutes. One of the things I love about the five voices system is that it's super simple, easy to understand for people throughout the organization. It'll help you in your family, it'll help you at work, and it's simple to understand. So let me get started with the first voice, the nurturer voice. The thing I love about the nurturers is they are natural team players. They tend to get everyone on the same page really well. One of the other things about them that is super valuable for a team is that they're able to celebrate others. They're able to also understand how other people might react to a new idea or concept that's being introduced. They have that empathy that's very natural to them as a nurturer. One of the challenges they can face though is that they can sometimes be passive aggressive because they want to avoid the conflict. It's in their nature to love and enjoy being around other people. So if there's any kind of conflict, they might avoid that conflict and go passive aggressive. So they have to watch out for that. The second voice is the creative voice. So what you'll find with the creative voice is that there's a lot going on in their brain. They tend to think long term. So they might see opportunities and challenges that are upcoming for your personal life or also for an organization. So you can imagine the value they add when you ask them, hey, what do you think is gonna happen in the next five years in our industry? They might have some very key insights that can help you avoid those pitfalls and also take advantage of the opportunities. So make sure you're welcoming a creative to the conversation and what you'll see with them is they'll light up when you ask them those clarifying questions and understand them, that is super valuable to a creative because at times they feel like no one truly understands my idea or what I'm saying. So the other thing you'll notice the challenge with creatives is that there's so much going on in their mind and the idea was so perfect in their mind. And as we know, those ideas don't always come to reality as perfect Lee, is there in our brain? And so that can be a frustration for a creative. They'll have to learn to celebrate the 90%, even though there was 10% we didn't get done. Don't focus on the 10, realize the 90% is a big win. So the guardian voice is the next voice. And what you'll find with the guardian is they have a relentless pursuit for the truth. They're always trying to get to the bottom line. They have that um, love for building efficient systems and processes. They will build a sustainable system that will last for years. And you can imagine how valuable that is to a company. The other thing they do is that they bring projects in on time and on budget so vital for any team or organization to have guardians represented on their team. One of the things you'll notice with them, one of their challenges is they detach decision making for their personal sentiments. So this can be good or bad, right? We get to the right decision, but we have to be careful we're not running over other people in the process. So the guardian has to be aware of that but so valuable on any teams. A connector is the next voice. Connectors are persuasive and inspirational communicators. They're natural salespeople, but don't call them salespeople because all they're doing in their mind is sharing what they love and connecting you with someone else that might love the same thing. So what you'll see with them is they're natural marketers. They know how to connect people with their aspirations. And so you can imagine the value they bring to the marketplace, especially in this day and age, where who you know and making those connections with people are so vital. Uh, one of the challenges they can have is they can struggle to engage with critical feedback. They put their heart on the line with this idea, and when you start to criticize it or give them some feedback, they can kind of rebuff and have a challenge with that. So as they learn to adapt to that and be aware of it, they can be powerful teammates. Fifth voice is the pioneer. A pioneer enjoys casting vision. They believe in a future that is scalable. They want to make sure 
that everything is scalable. They have this strate strategic mindset that allows them to align people, systems, and resources. So you can imagine the value they bring to any team as you embrace their voice. They're able to communicate through logic and rationality. That's how they see the world. Is this thing competent? Is this person competent? Am I competent? And that's how they understand the world. Anything is possible with a pioneer. They believe in the impossible. One of the challenges they can face is they can appear to be me focused at times because they're so vision casting, their vision matters most to them. But once they understand to value other people's input, they will be strong leaders in your organization. So hopefully you've learned something today. Share with a friend and give them just a little glimpse of the five voices. I know it will help you because it's helped me understand my personal value and also the value of those around me. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.